Lucari have discovered some unusual activity in an unexplored region of the Alpha Quadrant. The data suggests another weaponized use of protomatter, similar to what happened recently at Draconis III. The Klingons have sent a ship out to assist with the Lucari investigation there, and we'd like you to join them. If the Zenkethi are involved, we need to know about it fast. Our first contact with another species came not from the Federation, but from this sector, Ferenginar, to be precise. While the Ferengi have not always been the best of neighbors, they have provided us with valuable data on this sector, for a price, of course. And greetings, everyone. Hope you're having a lovely day. Oh, uh, we got uh, getting hailed, okay? Guavan, I am General Rodek, security advisor to the Lakari. I have read your report on the incident at 20 Draconis. If the Zenkethi are behind all this, we must be ready to meet them in battle. And if I am not mistaken, that voice is none other than Mr. Candyman, a.k.a. Kern, a.k.a. Tony Todd, um, and also future Jake Sisko in a couple episodes. Do you have any questions? The Lakari are just ahead and eager to begin the search. It's good to see you again. It looks like we have another incident to study. We sent out a number of long-range sensor probes to this sector recently. After the events of 20 Draconis, I took the liberty of setting the probes to scan for protomatter. I'm afraid they found something. Let's begin our search by sending a short-range probe to the nearby planet. Okay, just as long as this mission is a little bit more exciting than the last one. Proto matter is the weapon of a coward, but we respect its power. Proto matter can also be quite beneficial, General, when used properly. Assuming this is the planet we're going to. Oh, okay, it does not matter. It's a big enough sphere. Come on, trigger. There we go. The probe is away. The atmosphere of the planet is so thick it will take the probe some time to get through the interference. While the probe is busy, we can collect data from the planet's moons. At least one moon has signs of protomatter energy. A closer look will give us more information. Okay. So far, so boring. Perhaps the probe's information will give us more insight as to why these attacks are occurring. Most curious. This is a Class Y moon. It's incapable of sustaining most known life forms, but it was scorched by protomatter recently. Why would anyone devastate such a place? I think we should take a look at the next moon. Yeah, I think. Perhaps they use the moon as a test site for the weapon. More than likely. So, it was a poor choice. Why scour a world already devoid of life? It sickens me to see protomatter used like this. Hmm. Another enigma, I'm afraid. This is a Class D moon, similar to Luna in the Sol system. Incapable of supporting life, and yet, it has been hit by a protomatter. Why? Perhaps the third moon will have some answers. Let's take a look. And just in case anybody is not familiar, Luna is the name 
proper name of Earth's Moon. Hence where we get the term Lunar from. Another uninhabited moon, but one quite different from the first. What is the pattern? This makes no sense. There is no tactical pattern to these attacks. There must be a reason, though. Let's figure this out quickly before more lives are lost. Class L. I'm picking up some ruins on the surface, some simple life forms. There's evidence of crude attempts at terraforming, but no signs of a protomatter detonation. It looks like there was an attempted settlement on this planet, but the project was abandoned. By the look of these readings, it took place over a century ago. Okay. The probe we sent to the planet is active now. It's sending data back to us. I'm detecting incredible levels of radiation, atmospheric pollution, ruins of great cities, and... Oh. Oh, no. Based on these scans, I... I believe this is the planet Kantar, the original homeworld of my people. There are no signs of protomatter here. It seems Kantar was rendered incapable of supporting life long ago. By the Kintari. I can barely believe what I'm seeing. I've always wondered what became of them, and now I know. Most Lucari thought something like this would happen, but some of us... Some of us hoped they would see reason and overcome it. It saddens me deeply to see otherwise. Wait a minute. If your people came from this planet, why didn't you know it was... You know, that this planet was Kentar until... Yeah, never mind, I'm gonna chalk that one up to poor writing. I suppose you have some questions for me. Nope, not really. Um, yeah, let's warp out of here. large-scale battle in this system. We are analyzing the debris. It appears the losing side possessed technology roughly a century behind our own. Preliminary scans indicate that the battle was very one-sided. I recommend we take a closer look at some of the nearby debris. Okay. Scans are showing the wreckage of dozens of ships. They weren't all military either. I'm seeing remains of freighters, mining ships, research craft, even luxury vessels. Somebody go nuts on a garbage dump? Unclear at the moment. We have not detected any Zinkethi debris in the field yet. Whoever did this was powerful, but not honorable. There is no honor in attacking the weak. I'm detecting strong energy signatures ahead. Further scans may prove to be more conclusive. Okay, let's get over there. Here. Around 50 ships were involved in the battle. Many were lightly armed, if at all. I am reading traces of engine-grade plasma ahead. 
does not match that left by the local craft. Perhaps the aliens managed to score a hit to the engines of an enemy ship. I suggest we advance and investigate further. Okay. Yeah. Even for that one. Bloody this hell. Is all that is left of a single It appears the aliens debt warp core of one of their capital ships. After ramming into some Kethy at full impulse, they fought with honor. For them, it was a good day to die. Uh... Perhaps they are testing the weapon against planets that are not part of the Alliance, hoping that we will turn a blind eye to their crimes. Once they have perfected the weapon, they will certainly use it on their old enemies. And their list of enemies is long. We should continue our investigation. There may be more clues in this area. Okay. We will continue this boring mission. Try not to get stuck in the shipwreck at this time. I'm receiving a distress call. It's uh, very faint. I, I don't I'm know who you are or where you came from. But thank you. What can I tell you? Uh, okay, let's get some uh, answers here. Egan Burren, captain of the Pavini starship Bastion. O or what's left of her, anyway. Most of my crew was planet side on shore leave when the invaders warped into the system. We went into battle with a skeleton crew. It's a miracle we survived. What can I tell you? Um, why does Enkethi attack ya? I, I, I honestly have no idea. Un until today, we had never seen them. We hailed them. They didn't answer, and then they started shooting. They, they just kept firing, even when we tried to surrender. And then, some sort of energy bomb went off on the homeworld. It killed everyone. They finished off the rest of our ships and left. Somehow they missed us. They just kind of... I cast core. Kind of a nice little easter egg. Whoa. Okay, what let's get you? over there. There might be survival pods from other ships out there among the wreckage. Could you look for them? We're doing all we can to keep life support running over here. I can't start a search and rescue operation on my own. If you have any engineers you could loan or some spare parts, my crew and I would be forever grateful. Oh, bloody hell, okay. What the hell was that? Oh. Alright. We need to go find these pods. <sighs> There you are. I I thought no one would come. Thank you, strangers. Thank you. Oh, you're you're you're, you're well welcome. Oh my God. Someone heard! By all the gods, someone heard the signal! I'm saved! Okay. It just cost you one Baconator. Okay. 
Our other damn people back. Thank you again. May we seek asylum among your kind? Please, we don't have anywhere else to go. Sure, you can go to the clean on home world. I guess they need some help. Oh. Sending you the location Starbase K13. Speaking of which, I was doing a little research. K13 seems to be tied somehow to uh what the heck is it? Um your fleet holdings, I believe it was. Um holdings. Yeah, K13 right here. So I've confirmed the captain's story. The planet nearby was hit by a protomatter blast. Estimated casualties in the Check your long range sensors. It just happened again. Another detonation. Bloody hell. It is time for a reckoning. The Zinkethi must pay for their crimes. We must go now before they escape. Agreed. Let's kick their tails all the way back to whatever their home planet is. come from You want to play games? Play these games. Get them, boys. Days I'll have to go and replay the uh, the, the Nimbus Three story arc. That way I can call pirates in as well as those guys. Give me six ships for attacking instead of just three. Anyway, let's get down there. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to help the channel grow, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and maybe even get a friend to watch. That would be awesome. Until next time.